Hey up, Meghan Markle. You might want to pick up the phone and call your dad right now. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah. Let's jump into this one, shall we, because it's coming up to Thomas Markle Sr.'s 80th birthday, and he is making a desperate plea through the media to see his grandchildren, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, Question is, is Megzi ignoring her dad's desperate plea on his 80th birthday? It ain't looking good from where I'm standing, that's for sure. Uh, But yeah, the reports are all going around mainstream media at the moment uh, with Megzi's father issuing this desperate plea uh, to her ahead of his 80th birthday, uh, begging Megzi to end their feud in time for his 80th. Uh, He'll be celebrating this birthday on the 18th of July, uh, but admits he doesn't expect to hear from Megzi. Uh, The pair haven't spoken reportedly in the last six years following the fallout just before Megzi's wedding to Prince Hazza. He's also, which I find absolutely shocking, I mean, I've known, but it just, it, it still shocks me even to think about it, that he has never... Thomas Markle Sr., Megzi's dad, has never actually met Prince Archie or Princess Lilibe at all. Like, never. Not once, right? Uh, because, apparently, of this feud. Now he's pleading with Megzi to let him meet the youngsters, meet Archie and Lilibe, or at the very least, let him have a, photo- a photograph of them. I mean, that, to me, is absolutely heartbreaking, Right? But granddad, in this case, right, Thomas Markle Sr., to turn round to his daughter, Megzi, and be like, please, 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 can we just set everything aside? I would love to see my grandchildren. If you don't want me to do that, if you don't want me to be near the grandchildren, fine. Can I at least have a picture of them? Like, to turn around and say, can I at least have a picture of them? To me, it just absolutely breaks me out. That is just really really such a sad state of affairs now uh thomas markle senior has admitted that he never actually expected to make it to eight years old after his own dad tragically passed away age 61 i mean that's young right Uh, Speaking to the Daily Mail, he said he's proud of everything that he's accomplished in life, but admitted that it's all been overshadowed by what has happened in the last six years. Saying, I've never been one for birthdays, but I know the one person I most want to hear from, Megan, won't be in touch. I would love to meet my grandchildren, but I would be happy with a photograph at this stage. He also said he didn't expect to hear from Haza, adding, I wish we could have worked this situation out. I was always ready and willing to do that. I mean, reports coming through that he's never actually really met Hazza in real life. Like, that's absolutely insane. And, you know, this all carries on because, you know, he's now turning around and saying, look, Hazza and Megzi have treated me and King Charles so badly, I'm going to pass away without ever meeting my grandkids. This is so sad. Um, we know that King Charles has rarely seen uh, Prince uh, Archie and Princess Lilibet, right? And if you check my Daily Nerd a couple of hours ago, yeah, I ask a question there. Is Megzi using Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet to blackmail King Charles? Now, I'm asking for a friend, but that's a video I'm willing to bet you're definitely going to be interested in. So check that out. I released it only a couple of hours ago. Uh, But Thomas Markle Sr. is telling the mail here, neither of us, so neither him nor King Charles, deserves the treatment we've received. Why have they treated not only me, but the royal family and the king so badly? I mean, that's a great question. Great question to ask. Why? 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 Why, Megzi? Why, Hazza? What the deuce? He then says Archie and Lilibet have two grandpas who want to see them, one of whom just happens to be the King of England, right, guys? But this is the thing, right? 
You know, Megzi continues to ignore, in my opinion, her father's pleas for reconciliation, yet she's apparently desperate here to end the feud with Princess Catherine. J just, just a little bit of advice. Pick up the phone and call your freaking dad first. Never mind desperate to end Princess Catherine feud. To me, get your priorities straight. Sort out your situation with your dad first before you want to end any feud with anyone else. He should be priority. But no, a source uh, is telling the Closer magazine, which is a UK magazine, saying Megs is desperate to come across as the bigger person and end this feud between them, appearing like some sort of royal saviour could only do her image good. Exactly. She's desperate, according to this source, to come across as the bigger person when it comes to Princess Catherine, but she ain't desperate to come across as the bigger person and end the feud between her and her own dad. No, because it could only do her image good more so if she ended the feud with Princess Catherine. No currency in Megzi ending the feud with her dad, right? A Binny conspiracy theory, whatever. And the source saying, and despite all their bad blood, her heart does go out to Kate. She can only imagine how hard this situation must be for her. Megan has made it clear she'd love nothing more than to move past all the nonsense and find a way towards healing for everyone's sake. She's ready to let the anger and bitterness go. I mean, bloody hell. No, 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 no. Her heart should also be going out to her own dad. Suffered a stroke. Nearly passed away. No contact for the last six years. What the deuce? She should love nothing more than to move past all the nonsense and find a way towards healing for her family's sake on the Markle side. Again, where are her priorities? Because I'm telling you, Summer, this ain't it. The source then saying, of course, it's not really up to her and Hazza. All they can do is continue to reach out and offer olive branches. If that's the case, then where are the olive branches from Hazza and Megzi to the Markle family? This is totally one-sided here. Source added Megzi hopes her feelings are being thread fed through to Princess Catherine and that repairing the relationship would be a huge relief for the Sussexes. No, 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 no. Repairing the relationship with her own family, with her own dad, should be a huge relief. Her own flesh and blood. What is she doing? But, you know, it looks like Megzi will continue to bury her father whilst he's still alive, as per his comments, literally from last year, right? They did, if I remember rightly, 60 Minutes uh, down in Australia, uh, and he gave his final interview saying, look, if she doesn't turn up for a stroke, if that doesn't move her, what would? Again, a great question, another great question, from Thomas Markle Sr. My goodness, if a family member that I had absolutely cut contact with had a stroke, you put the BS aside, you go on over, or at the very least, give him a call. If she doesn't turn up for a stroke, if that doesn't move her, what would? Now, his comments come after Prince Hazza released at that point his uh, book Spare, saying that Megzi was mourning the loss of a father. Poor choice of words there, because Thomas Markle Sr. had something to say about that. Telling the program, she unalived me and then mourned me, adding, I refuse to be buried by her. Damn right. Damn right you should refuse to be buried by her. At the same time, for him to issue this plea on his 80th birthday, Megzi, please pick up the phone. I want to see my grandchildren. I've never seen them. If you don't want me to see them, fine. At least send me a picture. That is absolutely heartbreaking. And Twitter had something to say about all of this. So we've got at the fake Duchess turning around and saying, Megan, next time you want to push another pathetic olive branch story... I a la uh, Princess Catherine, right, that I've just shown you. Call your father first. Exact sentiments with me. Exact same sentiments with me. 
Harmonic relationships and kindness start at home. Otherwise, everything you say about it is considered BS. Snaps. Totally agree with this. And then we have a Einstein underscore Evans saying Meghan Markle is the world's worst child. Literally, front news, f headlines on the front pages of the Mail on Sunday. World exclusive interview, Megsy's dad at 80. I'd love her to call on my birthday, but she won't. If she has any hope of rehabilitating her image, never mind about trying to walk for the olive branch to Princess Catherine because, you know, as it says with the source in that article there, it's going to improve her image, right? No, 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 no. Go the other way. Go towards your flesh and blood, your dad. He ain't got long left. He's 80 years old. He didn't even think he'd make it to 80. Thank goodness he did. Absolutely heartbreaking, though. For him to turn around and say, please let me see my grandchildren. If you don't want me to see them, fine. Can I at least have a photo of them? Oh, just heartbroken. It's absolutely such a sad state of affairs. I would hope Megsy has some humanity in her to listen and to actually ask, ask, acquiesce his request to follow through with it. Funny feeling inside of me, though, thinks, um, unfortunately, Thomas Markle Sr. will continue to essentially be confronted with a wall of silence, a wall of nothing when it comes to Megzi Hazard and his grandchildren. I wish it was different, but it's all down to Megzi and Hazard, isn't it, guys? And uh, the way that they're treating Thomas Markle Sr. right now, it's definitely not a good look on them. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe, because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Thomas Markle Sr.'s desperate plea to Megzi on his 80th birthday to see Archie and Lilibet, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.